This is a traditional Welsh story um, and it comes from an area of Wales called Bane Brycheiniog, which are the Brecon Beacons. Um, and in the Brecon Beacons, uh, there's a lake, and it's called Llynyfan Vach, um, which means Lake of the Small Brecon Hill. Um, so many, many years ago, uh, very close to the lake, there lived a farmer named Gwyn, and he lived with his old mam, his mother, and every day, at the end of the day, he, he took the cows down from the lake, where they'd been grazing all day, back down to the farm where he lived. And he was standing up by the lake one day, and he was just watching the cows like he always did. Um, when he looked out across the lake and he saw there was a girl standing in the centre of the lake, just standing on the water, he'd never seen that before. I mean, he, he blinked a few times, but no, there was definitely someone there. So he walked close to the water and, and as he did so, he, he reached into his pocket and he held out the piece of bread that his mum had given him for his lunch. And her eyes flashed at him and she said, Class of Aran, it's how vanilla. You of the burnt bread, you'll not have me. And then she disappeared beneath the surface of the water. And Gwyn was actually quite excited. Ran home, told his mum, he said, you'll never guess what happened. I was standing by the lakeside and this woman just appeared in the middle of the lake. And so she said, I know what you need to do. You tried to give her burnt bread last time, didn't you? Right, okay, this time, give her some uncooked bread. So the next day he did just that. He stood up by the lakeside. When she appeared, he held out the uncooked bread in his hand. And her eyes flashed at him and she said, Life devara, tini vana, you of the moist bread, you'll not have me. She disappeared again. Oh, he was a bit despondent. Walked home, felt morose. He said, Ma'am, it did not work. And she said, Ah, oh, I know what you need to do. So the next day she sent him up the mountain with a piece of half cooked bread. And you know what? It worked. There she was. She was in the middle of the lake. He held out the bread to her. And she walked across the surface of the lake and she came to him. He knelt down and he asked her to marry him. She said yes, yes, she would marry him. But were he ever to give her three causeless blows, she would leave him and she would return to the watery kingdom and to the lake. Now they were married for many, many years. But then one day they were invited to go to a wedding. And she was taking absolutely ages to get ready and so Gwyn, he, he went up to her and he tapped her on the shoulder and he said, come on, we're going to be late. She said, and Harriet, that was the first causeless blow. Well, he was a little bit taken aback. And he knew that he had two, two chances left. And so, a few weeks later, they were invited to go to a christening. And everyone was really happy and everyone was laughing. But then Gwyn looked over at his wife and he realised that she was crying. And she was crying because she knew that that baby that was going to be christened was going to have a short and painful life. But Gwyn went over to her and he tapped her on the shoulder and he said, Why are you crying? She said, In Harriet, that was the second causeless blow. And Gwyn knew he had one chance left. And so the next day, they were invited to go to a funeral. As she predicted, that baby had died. And everyone was, was crying, but Gwyn looked over at his wife and realised that she was laughing. And she was laughing because that baby's suffering was over, but he went over to her and he tapped her on the shoulder and he said, Why are you laughing? And she said, Ingharyad, that was the last causeless blow, and I must leave you. And so she did, as she'd promised. She went back to the lake. She disappeared under the surface of the water and she was never seen again. And a few days later, Gwyn followed her under the surface of the water.